Hi everyone, welcome to Diamond Dog Training. I'm Joyce Diamond. How to teach a puppy to come every time. Do you have a new puppy? Or you adopted a rescue dog? And now you're thinking, I'm gonna take my dog outside and I'm gonna call my dog. Well, your puppy's coming every time you call them when you're inside. It's totally different when you're outside. And we're going to today give you some tips on how to teach a puppy to come every time. The key to teaching a puppy to come is to be more interesting than everything outside. And that's not easy. You have to be more interesting than the squirrels and the people and the other dogs and even the grass. So here's how you do it. First thing is you make sure that your puppy is not too far away from you. The further they get from you, the harder it is for them to pay attention to you. You're gonna take a treat right to their nose and you're gonna show it to them and you're going to say, Nikki, come! And you're gonna back up and you're gonna feed your dog. When you back up, your dog is saying, I have to get there quick so I get the treat. The key is you always back away from your dog. You don't step forward. If I step forward, what Nikki's gonna do, she's gonna back up. And if she thought that I was going to chase her, she would run the other direction. So first thing is, you always go backward. If you go backward, your dog will come to you. And now, as well as going backward, you can turn and run away. So you can literally take the treat, show it to your dog and say, Nikki, come. Good girl, Nikki, come. Had a girl, Nikki, come. And wherever I run, Nikki's gonna follow me. So when I'm running around the yard and my dog is interested in something, she was just interested in a squirrel a moment ago, she can only get so far, she can only get a short leash. Well, I don't wanna keep her on a short leash, so what do I do? First step is attach a longer leash. Not a flex -a lead because that goes in and out and does not give your dog the feeling that they are free. You attach a 20 foot web leash. You attach the leash to your regular leash and you're going to attach the leash to you. So you can go about your gardening or whatever you're doing and you play a game. You don't wanna call them from across the yard the first few times. So you wanna make sure that you're close enough to your dog when you first go out. You will come almost about to the same as uh, what you would do if you were on the short leash. And show them the tree and back away. And they're coming to you. So then you give them a little bit more leash. And you take another treat and you call them. And you back away. And you give them a little bit more until finally they're out to the end of the leash. When they're out to the end of the leash, Nikki, come. And she's going to come to me. Remember, I always back up. That's my dog's key that I want them to come and that they're getting further away from me and further away from that treat. Now there are four rewards you can use when you're teaching come. First one is a treat, a yummy treat. Now if you have a dog that's not focused on you, then let's go to something better. You can use better food. You can use chicken or cheese or something like that. The higher the distraction outside, the better the food. You can also allow your dog to go back to whatever they were doing before you called them. If they were sniffing for a squirrel and you called them away from the squirrel, let them go back to it. Third one is a toy. And you can play with your dog with a toy. If your dog is toy motivated, use a toy. Nikki's not, so it makes it a little harder. I can squeak a toy, but she says, I don't know. Nikki was almost, uh, three, almost four years old when I adopted her a few years ago. So she never played with toys. So toys to her just aren't something. Once in a while, she'll pick up a toy and she'll look at it, but mostly it's no thank you. So if you have a dog who's toy motivated, use it. When they come to you and you give them a treat, get that toy out and play with them. Let them know that the toy is the reward. You have a fourth reward and that's you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna run away so that when they get to you, you're gonna run again. Run back and forth a few times. Dogs love to chase, they love to chase you. Nikki, come. Good girl. Nikki, come. Oh, good girl. Nikki, come, yay. Good girl. 
and you finally give her a treat. So three times are coming. All right. But how do you get your dog to come every time? Well, here's where the key is. You want your dog to come and you don't want them to be on a leash. So the next step is get yourself a piece of rope, just regular rope, and you're gonna tie the rope to your leash. This is a very short piece of rope. I sometimes start with a piece of rope 30, 40 foot in length, and I attach it to my dog's leash. So with my rope attached to the leash, I let my dog out to wander in the yard. And I go through the same thing I did with the regular leash. I can tie it to me, and I can call my dog to me many times, and they will come to me. And then I say, okay, my dog is coming pretty well. So now it's time to drop this piece of rope. Let them just trail it around the yard. It's long enough that if my dog goes to run away, I can step on it anywhere along the rope or the leash to stop my dog. Now, if they won't come to me, I don't want to reel them in. I don't want them to think they're being pulled in. What I do is I walk up to them, show them the treat, and turn and run away. So my dog is coming to me. Once I'm sure, and this is what I did with Nikki, because when I first got her, she was afraid. And I kept her on a long leash for quite a few weeks because she would bolt to the end of it. She had no confidence in people. So what I did, I transferred then to a piece of rope, just like this, and I would walk around the yard. And when I had bandolin, this is what I did at midnight. I had her on the long rope in the big room and we'd walk around and I'd go up to her and I'd call her and I'd run away. And I'd go up to her and I'd call her and I'd run away. And then I'd sit down and let her come to me. Then as she got better at it, what'd I do? The nice part about a piece of rope is you can cut it off. So what I did was I just took and I cut the rope. My rope is four foot shorter. And this is how you get your dog to eventually come to you. And when she would come from across the room, when I called her, trailing 20 foot of rope, I'd cut it again. And so now we were down to 15 foot and I kept going. And I kept cutting it down until I had just her leash left and she was still coming to me. And so what did I do next? I untied it from her leash and I tied the rope. Nikki, come, good girl. Remember, every time you call her, you back up. I took her leash off and I attached this to her harness. So now what she's got on her is just about 10 foot of rope. And I let her wander around and I'd call her. She could run away if she wanted to. She'd go anywhere she wanted to. But she was coming every time I called her. Nikki, come, good girl. And I'm feeding her. So what did I do next? See, this is how you get your dog to finally come to you off leash. And I cut it off again. And now we're down to just about that length. I can give you a real quick story about a poodle. Lovely poodle. Every time they said come, what she did was she ran the other direction. First we changed the word. We changed it to here. Then we had them stand in the house and walk up to her and call her. Then we started her with 50 foot of rope and we would call her. And when she came to us, we would feed her. Then we gradually shortened the rope. As the rope got shorter, she thought she was still on the leash. So she kept coming and coming and coming. So finally, we got to the point where we kept shortening the rope. Each time we shortened the rope, it was that much easier for her to run away if she wanted to. But each time I called her, she was coming. Same with that black, lovely black standard poodle girl. So, and we just kept cutting it down. This is what we did at midnight at Bandolain until we got it shorter and shorter and shorter. So can you see how now there's no way I could catch her. She has a leash on that I could, couldn't even grab, but she's learned to come. And so when I call her every time, 
she comes to me. That's what you want. Nikki, come. Good girl. Till finally, it was time to release the leash. She's free. Now that takes a few weeks to do that. And when you're calling them, make sure you reward them. Always reward them. When my dogs hear the word come, they know that there's a reward coming. So, and sometimes it can be chicken and sometimes it can be cheese. Sometimes it can be those lovely uh, homemade dog treats that I make. But whatever you're doing, make sure that you're calling them and they're coming to you. This is how you teach a puppy to come every time. If at any time your puppy decides they're not gonna come to you, nice part about it is, is as hard as it is to get your puppy, either you run away, you bend down low, you lay on the ground, whatever it is, whenever you get that puppy to come, you love it, give it lots of love, give it treats, and then take and tie on some of that clothesline again. No matter what length it is, when your puppy decides they're not gonna come to you, get the clothesline back on, tie the pieces together, make it longer. It's easier for you to control them. You will eventually get to the point where you can cut off those pieces and finally do away with the clothesline. You'll have a puppy that will come every time. One more hint. Please don't call your dog from the door when you know you're going to put your puppy in their crate. Walk outside with your long leash, call your puppy a few times, and then from the middle of the yard, walk your puppy inside. If you're going to put them in a crate, put them in a crate with a Kong or something fun to work on so that your dog knows that coming inside is fun. And one other tip, when you call them inside, take those few extra minutes, let them back outside. Let them know that not every time you call them means their playtime is over. Let come be part of their playtime. Hope I've answered the question of how to teach a dog to come every time. Please leave me some comments and any questions below. There are two videos listed above which you might find helpful. One is how to deal with dog separation anxiety and the other is how to prevent your puppy from developing separation anxiety. These two videos will give you important information on how to help your dog to cope when you are leaving them alone. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you receive all the episodes. Bye from Joyce and Nikki at Diamond Dog Training.